it too. seems like every week we were losing another important yeah. person, whether it's in politics, uh, world affairs, sports, pop culture, you know, music, Remarkable. actors. Remarkable. Remarkable. Even this last week hasn't spared us. Uh, in the final days of 2016, on Friday, we lost famed Chinese-born artist Tyrus Wong. Uh, he was born in Guangdong province in 1910, came to the United States, and was instrumental in creating the look of the classic Disney movie Bambi. He says he drew on traditional Chinese watercolors for inspiration while being part of making that movie. He fought anti-Chinese prejudice in the United States on his way to influencing generations of artists. He was 106 years old, quite a life. Here's a look at some of the other high-profile lives we lost in 2016. So many of those faces so familiar to us, Mike. I mean, these people are interwoven in, in, in the story of our own lives. Yeah. I have a friend who says, I didn't like this year. There's too many people. We're losing yeah. too many people. But let's, let's start maybe with politics. Um, so many people passing, but uh, some big names out there. I mean, I think you have to look at Fidel Castro. Uh, I mean, that was so momentous to lose Fidel Castro this year. Such an important global figure. His influence went so far beyond Cuba. After the revolution there in the late 1950s, he became a perennial thorn in the side of the United States while becoming an inspiration to people in countries around the world that resisted U.S. influence in, in many different ways, really. And he was a friend to China and many other countries around the world. In his final years, he saw relations with the U.S. begin to normalize. Cuba looks to have a, a bright future. His brother, um, obviously the leader there now, but it, it, just a figure that went through the Cold War, these relations between the United States then Soviet Union, et cetera, for yeah. so many decades. Seen as the David and David Goliath yeah. to so many. Um, that's, the, you know, when you talk about fights, David and Goliath, uh, the, the Goliath in sports, jeez, uh, uh, yeah. we lost him too. Muhammad Ali, I mean, I was so stunned by the outpouring of support for him. It, w it was really moving. Uh, they called him the greatest of all time in the ring. It was really his life outside of the ring that defined his legacy. He was born Cassius Clay, then converted to Islam, took the name Muhammad Ali, put his career in jeopardy by refusing to fight in the Vietnam War, became an outspoken African-American civil rights champion who knew how to use humor in a way that brought people to him, uh, even who may have opposed some of his political views during his long battle with Parkinson's disease, showed tremendous dignity and grace, Mike. Yeah, it was really uh, sad to see him pass and so many others and wish we could go on and on and on uh, and we I, could. I mean, I know. I, I really am stunned by how much some of these people end up meeting, meaning to you personally, even if you've never met them. Yeah, it's sad. I mean, even in the last few days with Carrie Fisher, that was another big one. Oh, another, yeah. another big one that's personal every time you see uh, Star Wars and you can't avoid seeing those movies. Yeah. They're, yeah, they're everywhere. Yeah, well, I'm hoping that 2017 is more positive. We lose less people. Uh, I'm with you.